So let's look at the difference between bubbles and no-ops. What is the difference between a pipeline bubble and a no-op? All right, so let's take a look at some examples here. Here we've got some code where we're going to load an instruction into R15, and then we're going to gen the results can be ready at the end of the memory stage here from the data memory, and then we want to use it again in another instruction as an input to R15. So in order to do that, we can forward it, but we have to forward it to the beginning of the ALU cycle, which means we've got to get it from the end of that cycle to the beginning of that cycle. So they can't be back-to-back. -back. We have to have a no-op in the middle. And this is what the no-op does. It just slows things down or delays them by one cycle. So that's for no-ops. And for the no-ops to work, the compiler inserts them. How about for bubbles? Well, for bubbles, we're going to go ahead and start executing the load word instruction. And in the second cycle, we're going to start executing our next instruction, which is the add instruction. And then something's going to happen here. The processor itself is going to notice this dependency, and it's going to notice it's too close. So when the processor notices it's a dependency, what it's going to do is convert this instruction into a no-op in the pipeline. So now this first instruction is going to continue, but the second instruction is going to become a no-op. Then on the next cycle, the processor is going to try again with that same instruction. It's going to try the add again here, and it's going to see that the dependency is okay. And so now the pipeline is going to go ahead and rock forwards and finish the instruction. And so what you see here is we get exactly the same thing. We end up having the two instructions separated by one in cycle, but instead of having the code inserting a no-op here, the hardware detects the dependency and inserts the no-op itself. So what's the difference between these? Well, in a bubble, the hardware detects and converts the instruction to a no-op, so it puts in the no-op. And if we just use a no-op upright, it's a software instruction, so the software the compiler has to insert it. So the difference between them is just how they're inserted. They have the same effect on the output delay and the performance, and they do the same sorts of things. One is inserted by the software, the other is inserted by the hardware.